Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, turn discuss further into polar coordinates and now look at example eight, which looks at sketching a four leaf rose uh, shape, which is pretty cool. And again, if you haven't already caught up, make sure to watch my earlier videos. I'll put the link in the description below on polar coordinates, so make sure to watch those. And uh, yeah, so let's just jump in. So the example states sketch the curve r equals two cosine to theta. Yeah, so let's just jump into the solution. So that's the curve we want to draw. I don't know why that's doing that. So basically, as in my previous example, example seven, what we'll do is first sketch r equals cosine two theta in the range uh, from theta goes from zero to two pi in Cartesian coordinates or that x, y perpendicular uh, axis format. So just basically like this, it's a perpendicular like that. If we allow this one, but here's a cool trick. Let's say this is our x axis. I'm going to write this as two pi. And then this part is our r. If we were to graph this, it, because we're dealing with this, uh, this just change of variable two theta, we already know how cosine x looks like. And cosine x just looks something uh, like this. So I'll just draw this better. And it goes all the way up to two pi. And this is just r equals two cosine of x, which if you just put in the two theta, cosine two theta, like that. And this is just a basic cosine function. And again, uh, I'll put a video link below, check uh, if you haven't already learned about, about cosine and trigonometric functions. And then the bottom, yeah, the top is one, this goes to negative one, like that, and then split down the middle, this is just pi, split this in between, this is gonna be pi over two, and this is symmetric, so what we'll do is, pi over two plus pi, this difference is pi, which equals to, well, the same thing is two pi over two, so that we can add that up, and then at this point is three pi over two. But because we have a two theta there, uh, what we're gonna do is, uh, if we were to graph this along, let's say, remove the x, or x divided by two, so move this all the way across here, and I'll write theta, so we change the x uh, axis, yeah, let's put that in uh, like that. So if we change the x-axis to theta, that means we're dividing everything, so this two pi is gonna go to pi. So then this means that uh, cosine two theta actually has the two periods inside one of the typical range for cosine. So what we'll do is extend this further, and it goes up like that. Let's draw a better curve like that. And this is going all the way to, uh, this is four pi, like that. And then in, the, in between here is gonna be three pi. And here I just fixed that up. So now we have two periods in there, and then again you could extend this further back, et cetera, and it just repeats the same pattern uh, forever. And now this is two pi, three pi, four pi. Again, that's separated by pi every uh, two points, key points across here. So then this point here is three pi over two, add another two pi, you know, two pi over pi, or just a pi, that becomes, well, this is five pi over two, like that. And then add another one here, this goes to seven pi over two. And uh, yeah, so that's what we have, but if we wanna graph it on pi, I mean on theta, we just divide everything by two on the axis, uh, on the x-axis. The y-axis, we're not changing the, the scale, so it's just gonna stay the same, so one to negative one. And now what we'll do is yeah, graph this exact same one, but we're gonna change all those values so we're just gonna go up and down like that. Yeah, so I just graph that like that. And now we're dividing everything so this four pi goes to, well, two pi. And this two pi goes all the way across here. This is at pi. And likewise, pi over two becomes pi over four. This pi here becomes pi over two. And likewise, this is gonna be three pi over four. And then we go all the way across here. This is five pi over four. In between here is going to be our uh, three pi over two. Remember that's just three pi. And now the last one, or in between here, seven pi over four. And now if we were to graph this in polar coordinates, well again, similar to my last video, as theta increases from zero to pi over four, that's by looking at this graph. I'm gonna label this as number one. That's going from here to zero, all those way, this pi over four. Or, this decreases from one to zero. And thus we can draw the corresponding, uh, corresponding portion of the 
polar curve in the figure below. And again, first of all, recall that the polar coordinates, all it is, is you have a distance. If you have, let's say, a line like this, and then, uh, or else put a point. So this point here, the distance from uh, here to here is R, and this is the origin O, and then this angle is theta. So instead of dealing with this x, y, all we're dealing with is an angle and a distance from the center across here. And also a brief recap. If it's negative, you still have this negative angle, I mean this angle, but you can also, if you have a negative r, all you're going to be dealing with is a negative r distance across. So you would go here, then you would go opposite, directly opposite. And again, that is the uh, origin over here. Oh. So let's again look at the first part. 0 to, to pi over 4 goes from 1 to uh, 0. The distance r goes to 1 to 0. So that means if we were to graph this out, so let's just graph a big one like this because we're going to add all the parts to it. So let's say we have something like this. Now if we go pi over 4, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw an angle dashed line across like this because of the symmetry that we'll see. And I'm doing this because, notice here there's a pi over 4, goes to pi over 2. Everything here is split up between pi over 4, like that. Yeah, so this entire thing is just split up into pi over 4s. So what I'll do is split everything up into uh, this one like this. This is uh, theta equals to pi over 4, where this angle here, theta is equal to 0. So this horizontal one, that's where is, uh, theta is equal to 0 across like that. So initially what we have is distance r goes from 1 to 0. So we start off like this. I'm going to write 1 here. So that's what we have 1. I'll move this over yeah, here. So we have 1 like that. And it has to go to 0. So that when the angle theta 0, it's 1. And then when it goes, when it rotates all the way across to pi over 4, we, all, we, we go all the way back to 0. That's a distance. So what that means is we're going to be curving. And also if you look at this, uh, the the steepest uh, increase or decrease is is in the middle, so that means this, that the steepest decrease going towards the origin is going to be in the middle. So we're going to have is a just all we're going to have is a perfect arc actually. What we end up having is an arc like this. Let's draw this a better arc like that. Yeah, so we have something that looks like that, and this is I'm going to label this as one, and this is one like that. So the next part we go from here from. Uh, pi over 4 to pi over 2, and I'll label this as 2. And now let's look at the next section, yeah, so the, the second part. So as a fade increases from pi over 4 to pi over 2, r decreases from 0 to negative 1. That's, again, at this point here. We're going from 0 all the way to this negative 1 across there. So, yeah, this means that the distance from the origin uh, increases from 0 to 1, but instead of being in the first quadrant, this portion of the polar curve lies in the opposite side on the third quadrant because of the negative 1. So again, if it's negative, we go to this angle, then we go backwards. So we go from here, we start off at 0, then we have to go, uh, we're going to pi over 2, which is across like that. That's just pi over 2 on this side, but now we're going with negative 1, so we have to go backwards here, so this is the point. So that means we're, again, decreasing, again, by symmetry, the biggest decrease, the fastest rays in the middle. So what we have is, again, an arc just like that. We start from here, and we're going backwards. Because everything's negative. Wherever we are here, if we have an angle like this, we have to go backwards. So we start, end up going backwards like that. And now we have 2. This is a 2. And likewise, the remainder of the curve is drawn in a similar fashion with the arrows and numbers indi indicating the order in which the portions are traced out. So this one, we started off here, put an arrow, put an arrow like that. So now let's look at the next part. And the next part is from pi over 2 to 3 pi over 4. And I'll label this as 3. And I'm going to uh, draw this. Again, the difference here is just pi over 2 pi over 4, and pi over 4 is, is half of pi over 2. I'm going to draw another dashed line across here, like this, all the way across, and this is going to be, I'll label this as pi, I have theta is equal to uh, 3 pi over 4, and that's uh, this angle across here, and then backwards you'll see that it's 
uh, perfectly symmetric goes all the way to 7 pi over 4 and this one here goes to uh, 5 pi over 4 and again that's because the difference the yeah, difference is just pi. So this one here all the way across, pi plus pi over 4, that's the same thing as 4 over 4 plus pi, uh, we just get across here. And I'll just label this as equals to 5 pi over 4. This one here, if we're adding pi to that one, that's just going to be 7 pi over 4, like that. So now that we have this angle, let's again look at number 3. So number 3, we go from negative 1 all the way to 0. And again, it's going to be opposite of whatever we think we're doing. So from here, so we're going to pi over 2 to here. But again, everything is negative. We have to go backwards. And so it's negative 1 here all the way to 0. So that just means everything's going to be backwards. We just go across to it like this. I'll just draw this a bit better curve. Yeah, so we get an arrow like that. And this is our third. And now we're dealing with positive numbers again, 3 pi over 4 to pi, I'm we'll label this number 4, and this is going from 0 to 1. So we go from uh, this angle across 3 pi over 4 all the way to uh, pi, that, and again pi is just 180 degrees, that goes all the way to across there, erase this, so we go from 0 all the way to 1. I'll move this across, this is a 1 like that. And I'm going to, again, it's, it's, it's not going to be negative because it's a distance to the point, to the origin. So we get something like that looks like this, and the arrow is like that. And this is going to be our 4. And let's just keep doing it. Now we go to the 5. That's from pi to pi over 4. So that's from this pi all the way to this angle across to there. And again, it goes from a 1 to 0. So going from 1 to 0, distance we go from 1 all the way to 0, like that. And this is going to be an arrow like that. And I'll label this as 5, like that. Next one up is this part here, 6. That's going from pi over 4, uh, no, 5 pi over 4 to 3 pi over 2, which is from here all the way to here. This is 3 pi over 2. And the values we're getting is uh, this point from 0 to negative 1. So that means we're going to be dealing with opposites. So we're going to be, from here, it's going to go actually a distance across there because we're dealing with uh, 0 going all the way to negative 1 across there at this point. So that means that at this point, it's negative 1. So we're going to have it all the way up to the top here, negative 1. And this is going like that. And this is an arrow. Like that. This is our 6. And now let's look at the 7. A 7 is going to be across here from 3 pi over 2 to 7 pi over 4. It goes from negative 1 to 0. And again, it's going to be opposite of what we're dealing. This is 3 pi over 2 all the way to 7 pi over 4. And uh, yeah, so from, from um, negative 1 all the way to 0. And it's going to be opposite. If it's here, we're going to go on this quadrant like that. Let's just erase this. So what we end up having is this goes all the way across. Like that. Let's draw this a bit better. One more try. Yeah, so it's a bit better. And the arrow is across like that. This is our 7. And we already know where the last part's going to go. It's going to go over there. You can see from 7 pi over 4 to 2 pi, it goes from 0 to 1. It goes from 0 to 1, where this is 7 pi over 4, all the way back to 2 pi like that. So we go across that, and there's our arrow. And this is our 8 spot like that. And I'll label this 8. Like that, and as you can see, it's a yeah, it's a rose. I guess yeah, I guess this uh, resulting has four loops and is called a four-leaf rose. It's a pretty cool shape, like that. especially the the way to form it. You go from here, then you go around this number two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, which is pretty cool. Anyways, that's all for today. If you learn from this uh, pretty extensive, uh, yeah, detailed example, just going step by step how to draw draw this by hand, which is pretty cool. Anyways, that's all for today. I hope you learn. Like always, get down with these exact notes and link below. And thanks for watching. And stay tuned for another math easy solution.